Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how to make southern style biscuits with sausage gravy. Start with yellow, light beige, and translucent clay. Blend those all together, and I like to put down a little cornstarch before I get started working. I'm going to use my guiding tool as a rolling pin, and roll it out on one side, and then flip it over and roll it on the other side, just like you would with real biscuit dough. For this next step, I'm going to use an old pin, one that's been stepped on and cracked and is pretty much useless, except when you pull off the back, you have a perfect size biscuit cutter. I'm only going to make two for right now, but I will make more later. Pull those apart and start with your toothbrush and add that just a little bit of detail to it. Next, use a little aluminum foil, and this is just going to add a little extra casing. Finally, use your dotting tool, and then add some creasing along the top, and some indentations along the sides. Real biscuits, when they rise, have a little bit of an indentation right along the middle. Finally, it's time for shading. I put this on a, one on a plate, and I'll go on ahead and glue that in place a little bit later. But I'm going to start with a very light yellow color that you see at the very front. Then there's a darker yellow, a reddish brown, and in the back where you can't quite see it, there's some milk chocolate color. Go along the whole thing with the lightest yellow color. Do the top with the darker yellow. The reddish brown adds a little bit of a golden brown color to it. And then the chocolate brown for definition. Don't forget to do the bottom of the biscuit as well. Real biscuits are baked at the bottom and the top, so there's a slight darker tinge on the bottom and at the top of the biscuit, but it's nice and pale in the middle. That's my son you hear in the background. He's two. When this step is finished, I'm going to go in ahead and put this to the side and get started on my sausage gravy. I used a little bit of a medium brown clay for this and because I couldn't find my needle tool I started off with some sharp tweezers. And you're basically just shredding the clay away from it. When you bake this you only want to give it about five minutes and that way when it comes out of the oven you can crumble it with your fingers. I'm not showing you me doing this, but I am going to also do some dark brown as well. Just a little bit for a variety. After everything has been baked, I'm going to start with some translucent liquid Sculpey, or TLS. I added in some of the very pale yellow butter color um, chalk pastel and some white chalk pastel. I'm going to mix this all up and make sure the pigmentation is even. And when I finish with this, I can add the sausage in that I've crumbled with my fingers. See my biscuits in the background. They've already been baked and they are glued in place with some bacon bond. Let's get all the sausage stirred in. And it's ready to go on the biscuits. I'm from Georgia, and I'll tell you that real Southerners tend to like a lot of gravy and not so much biscuit. So we're going to do the same thing here. I 
I like to make sure the gravy spills over the side. You hear my son watching cars in the background. Now when this is finished, I'm going to bake it for a little bit longer in the oven and then I'm going to add glaze. For the biscuits themselves, I'm going to use a matte glaze and for the gravy, I'm going to use a semi-gloss. If you have a little fork, you can put that on here as well. I'm not going to do that in this one, but I might glue one on later. And there, some final pictures. Thank you for watching.